What's up, Bulls fans? The Chicago Bulls get the victory versus the Charlotte Hornets, 117 to 110. And in this game, Kobe White shows why he is him. We got a great game from a second player for the Bulls. And the Bulls finally did something that I've been asking them to do for weeks. We're going to talk about all that after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you can join this family and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And let's talk about it. The Chicago Bulls did what they had to do this game. And a major part of that was Kobe White. Kobe White with 43 minutes played this game. He scored 35 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists. Once again, getting close to getting a triple-double and doing everything that you want to see your starting point guard do. And not only was he scoring from the three-point line, he was getting to the basket, he was getting to the mid-range, and he was getting his teammates involved. This is the type of game that shows you why Kobe White can be the future superstar for the Chicago Bulls. But the reason he knew today he could say, I am him, is because he finally started taking over in the fourth quarter. We saw a Kobe white show he was saying i'm going to take these shots i'm at home in north carolina where i went to college and i'm about to show you guys what i'm capable of and he started making shots all through the fourth quarter and that is what is the type of game that us bulls fans have been looking forward to seeing with him almost tying his career high for points that takes me to who the second star of this game was and that second star was Ayo DeSumo who continues to show why he is a great addition to this team whether it's off the bench or in the starting lineup regardless of where he's playing he is giving you everything you need and on top of that Ayo right now might be one of the best finishers in the league I love the fact that Kobe is a, such an offensive style player who gets his teammates involved. And Ayo DeSumo, to help him out, is also a great defensive player who can not only steal the ball, but get out on the fast break and play fast. When Kobe and Ayo are on the floor, you can see that they are trying to push the tempo. And right now, all the Bulls are not pushing the tempo the same way. You do see sometimes... Damar, Vooch, even sometimes Caruso are back behind the half court line. They're not rushing back. And that is something I think will happen more and more as the Bulls get younger. But you can definitely see that Kobe White and Ayo Sumu are the futures of this team and making sure that they play fast. Now, what I want to do is talk about some other players before we get to why the Bulls have been doing something today that I've been asking for for weeks. First, you got to talk about DeMar DeRozan. 15 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. He wasn't super needed this game. Kobe did most of the scoring, so DeMar got to take a little bit of a break. He still was on the floor. He didn't take a lot of shots, only 10 shots for him this game, but he was able to keep people honest. Because honestly, even if DeMar is not shooting a lot, there's always a chance for him to go off. So teams were still double teaming him. He was finding the open man, getting the ball moving so that other players could make moves on the court. And that's what I like to see. If you can't hit the shot up, help the team help you. Alex Caruso, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Honestly, Alex Caruso had an Alex Caruso game. He was everywhere, playing good defense, doing the small things. You can't ask for more. He got beat up. We had a moment we were afraid he could be hurt. The average game for Alex Caruso, right? Vooch, 33 minutes, 22 points, 12 rebounds. Vooch had a good game. He was getting down in the post. He was making some good plays. They were running the pick and roll with him pretty well. But the issue is, once again, he continues to shoot three-point shots. Stop shooting threes. We don't want you to shoot. Be Andre Drummond. If you are at the three-point line and you touch the ball, pass it and go to the rim. That's all you have to do. Stop taking shots. Every time Boost takes a three, I assume it's a miss. That's not something you want to see from your center. Okay, I don't want to feel like we are wasting a possession every time he shoots. And he also shoots in the worst moments sometimes. Like, he didn't do it this game. But a lot of games, Vooch will be missing everything and decide to take a three-point shot with two minutes left in the fourth quarter with us down by five. Stop shooting. Get in the post. 
Be a big man. That's where you're best at. You said you weren't going to be shooting a lot this year. Billy Donovan said he doesn't want you shooting the three that much, but you continue to do it. Get to the brim. Be tall. Be strong. Get in the post. Okay? Now, that takes me to the main point of this video. The Bulls did something that I've been asking them to do for weeks, and that is at halftime, they made adjustments. They changed the game plan. Okay, Billy Donovan said something to keep them motivated. And that is something I've been asking for countless times because normally what happens is the Bulls get to a lead. They lose that lead. And then at halftime, they completely collapse. And no one knows what type of team we are. And we get blown out in the third. And we eventually lose the game or have to fight back in the fourth. But this game, they came out in the third quarter ready to play. They did the things you want to see. They played fast. They got turnovers. They got out on the fast break. They played team basketball, but they made adjustments to continue to be a good team, and that's all you can ask for. If anything, I don't care if we lost this game. I would have been excited that the Bulls made some adjustments, <laughs> okay, because that is rare to see from this team. That takes me to the bench. Terry Taylor did not play a lot this game. He only had 20 minutes, six rebounds, three points. He filled a need, all right? The Bulls are super injured. He got some minutes. You expect him to get some minutes. He did the best you can expect him to do in that time. Andre Drummond, 10 points, 8 rebounds. He's going to get rebounds. He's going to get points. Didn't need him too much. Julian Phillips, 4 points, 1 rebound. Julian Phillips continues to show that he is not afraid of the NBA game. If I'm being honest with you, it might be scary with Julian Phillips continuing to get minutes. I definitely think in this game, Julian Phillips is one of those players with now when we start getting healthy, it's going to be hard to take him out of the rotation because he's playing so well. He's pl definitely playing better than Javon Carter. OK, he's playing with more confidence. His shot looks a little bit better for right now. He's getting to the rim. And honestly, he's tall. Because Javon Carter, the amount of times I've seen Javon on the court where a player catches the ball, he tries to close out, and they just shoot over him because he's too short to contest, that's a problem for the Bulls. We got him for defense. That's not happening. We got him for shooting. That's not happening. I don't know what he's doing on the team. I don't know what he's doing on the floor half the time. He's just out there. He's running. He's getting a cardio workout in. Take his minutes and give them to Julian Phillips. Let him develop because what I've seen from him the last couple of games is that he can be a definite piece for the future of the Chicago Bulls. Now, that takes me to the last thing I want to talk about, the question of the day. I want to ask you guys, who is your favorite player on the Chicago Bulls right now? Put that down in the comment section. Who on this team is your diehard favorite player for the Bulls that you're happy whenever they get into a game and you watch to see them play. That's what I want to hear from you guys. And last, I want to talk to you guys about the fact that if you are new or even if you're on the channel and let's say you just don't realize you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're rocking with what I'm doing, I'm working my way to a thousand subscribers. We're giving you some of the best content on YouTube for the Chicago Bulls. And honestly, I'm going to be real. Nobody's got a setup like this. This is definitely one of the best setups, production valued spaces in the YouTube world when it comes to Bulls content. So make sure you give me a follow. Make sure you give me a comment and share this video with a friend. With that, I hope you all have a good night. I'll see you all next time. Peace.